Looks like the snowstorm is done and passed. We stayed here in Fergus Falls, Minnesota at the Big Chief truck stop. The snowstorm was pretty brutal yesterday, so we got rid of the trailer we were delivering. We went to a, actually a little bit of a different spot than uh, what I was told at first, or what the paperwork said. They wanted it brought to their shop, which makes sense. They're gonna haul snowmobiles in there. So that's pretty cool. So they can live up at the front and uh, go to these, I don't know if they go to snowmobile shows or snowmobile events. I didn't ask, but uh, they were really excited to get the trailer. Uh, they had bought it from a, a guy in Quebec and we were the, uh, the fortunate ones that got to bring it there. It was a really nice trailer. It rode really nice. It pulled really nice. It was really smooth. Everything was pretty good. It was a used trailer, but in really good condition. So uh, I hope that they uh, make good use of it. Like I said yesterday, you can use that for whatever you want to. Uh, a lot of you guys in my comment section were saying that it was for race cars. I'm not sure if you could fit a car in there. It was a little narrow for that. I mean, you probably could, maybe. I don't think it was designed for that, though. I think it was designed to haul ATVs and snowmobiles, though. That's, I'm not an expert on this stuff, but maybe you could use it as a race car trailer, too. But I think those are a little bit wider yet and have a little bit of different uh, tie-down structures inside the trailer yet. You could tell this trailer was made for ATVs. So that, that, that's, that's going to be fun. After this snowstorm, I'm sure that they're uh, itching to use it and get out there in the snow. We're uh, just getting ready to go here. How's my beard look? I've been growing it out a little bit. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but uh, it requires a lot more maintenance when you grow it longer. Keep her combed. I don't know if I'm gonna keep growing it or not. Every once in a while, like I've always wanted to have a, a, a big beard, at least once in my life, right? At least once. And every time I get to about this length, I go, ah, that's a lot of work. Uh, I don't really like it. Nah, and I cut it off and I give up. Well, so we'll see. I, I grew it out a little longer this year just for winter because winter's so cold and I'm working outside all the time. It actually does help keep the face really warm. And then, you know, you wear the toque and the face mask and everything. It just, it helps insulate a little better. So that's why we're doing that. But let's get on the road here. I want to go grab a coffee real quick as soon as I can. And let's head home. We're bobtailing. because I'm bobtailing and the roads are always rougher when you're bobtailing these trucks they're made to have weight on the fifth wheel they're they're made to be pulling weight they're not exactly designed to be going across country without a trailer so when you take the trailer off the suspension is heavy duty and you notice every little bump it used to be a lot worse than the older trucks like when I was growing up in the trucks my dad drove in like the 90s if you were bobtailing, oh, was that a rough ride. Every bridge connection, every little bump, every pothole, it would put your back out pretty much. You'd have to go to a chiropractor after the end of every day. That was before airbag suspension and air ride on the cab. Nowadays, oh, what's this guy doing? What's this guy doing? Why do you stop on the shoulder, my friend? Why don't you go on the off ramp? One second here. Give this guy some space. I'm not sure what he's doing. Probably broke down, lost a tire. He's still rolling, so he's good. And he's right in town. Well, at least
least if you're gonna break down, it's nice to break down right in town. Help isn't very far away. What I was saying is that uh, nowadays on these new trucks, they ride like Cadillacs. They're pretty smooth, especially compared to how they used to be. You know, you have air ride suspension on the cab. So the cab is sitting on airbags that's connected to the frame. So the frame is bumping up and down, but the cab stays nice and level and smooth. And then we also got air ride on the rear suspension of the truck. Some trucks even have air ride on the front, on the steers. This one doesn't. It's not as common to have that, but that is very nice to have. If I ever had my own KW9 one day, I want to have air ride front suspension. Absolutely. So this is Grand Forks. We have, uh, oh, it's two o'clock right now. We have about another two and a half hours of driving ahead of us. I have three and a half hours, or no, almost four hours available to me here in the US. Once I hit Canada, we switch over onto Canadian hours of service. And uh, it'll add a few extra hours on there. So there's still a snowstorm going on this morning. So I waited, I waited out the storm, especially since I'm bobtail and I didn't want to mess around with the storm. Something is squeaking back here. Hear that? It's driving me nuts. This truck is squeaky. That's what I mean. The, the truck is bumping so much that everything is sort of rattling around and squeaking. Sorry if that's been bugging you. It's been bugging me too. But we I got up at five this morning. It was still a really bad snowstorm. And uh, got up again at 7.30, it was still storming really bad. And that went on until about 8.30, 9 o'clock. Okay, I'm gonna have to do something about this squeaking. This is driving me nuts. I'm sorry, guys. I'll have to talk to you a bit later. I'm gonna have to fix that. Just crossed onto the Canada side of the border. Looks like there's a long lineup to get into the US today. A little bit slow moving there. Look at it, it goes all the way down there yet. Oh, they're all trucks going to the US. Wow. Well, my friend, my friend, this isn't a parking spot, but there is a nice parking spot right in there if you would like to go in there or you can just stay on the road, whatever. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Look at this lineup. Holy smoke, Aronis, look at this. Goes all the way back over there. Was that a mile long? Hey, but we got good news. Good news. Scale's closed. Good news. I always say it's very rude to ask a guy his weight. I'm already in Manitoba, Karen. Where have you? Were you sleeping? Sleeping on the job here. Look at all those people. America, look at this, this is all your goods. Oh, it goes further back there yet. <laughs> what do they got, like one window open? I think it's time to open another window there, US Customs. Wow. That is cool, I've never seen it this long. I've seen it up to about here before, but I've never actually seen it that, that far, wow. A lot of stuff for our American friends. There's the end of it. My truck is still squeaking away. I haven't been able to fix it yet. Thank goodness this isn't my regular truck because if it was, that would be fixed. First thing, first thing we'd get the squeaking fixed. That drives me nuts. All day. It's like having a mouse in your ear. Give that mouse some cheese. Do something. Make him be quiet. <laughs> We're almost there. Another hour and we'll be done. Hop in the pickup and be home in no time.
5.30. Look how much light we have left in the sky yet. Best time of year. When you realize that the daylight hours are getting longer again. That feels good. Last month, it was completely dark at this time already. Nice. So we parked the old Western Star over here. There she is. All tucked in for the night, plugged in. Ready for whatever adventure awaits it tomorrow. I'm not gonna be in that truck tomorrow. I'm gonna be back in the old Pete 3006. We have some Winnipeg work to do tomorrow. So uh, it's gonna be a little cold. So we're gonna wake up and ready for it. We're gonna be ready. By the time we get here, we're, we're gonna get ourselves psyched up. We're gonna get ourselves pumped. We're gonna have a good time. But that's something to worry about tomorrow. That fun is for tomorrow. We're not done having fun tonight yet. Let's go home, have a shower, and sit back and just enjoy being home. It's the best part of the day, isn't it?